welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie, and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two-minute art tip. And today's tip is about a very underappreciated material that I love a lot, Conti crayon. Yeah, and I'm sure that the word crayon is freaking you out, scaring you off a little bit, but we're not talking about like kids crayons. The actual definition of a crayon is any kind of material that the binder is like a wax. So this is basically just pigments such as like bistres, uh, clays, different things like that uh, that are bound together with a wax and then compressed into a stick like this. Um, Conti is very, very inexpensive. Um, a lot of people who have experience with Conti is because of some formal art training. This, this stuff's kind of a must, but what's kind of interesting about Conti is that it's so underrated that everybody kind of treats it as if, oh, I did that in art school, I'm never gonna touch that again, forget it, and they move on. Um, and so you don't see a lot of fine artists showing pieces that are in Conti, which is why when I saw a, you know, New York Times article a few years ago about an artist who did his entire show with just Conti crayon, I thought, so? I mean, like, he could do it with his left toe, I don't care, you know, it doesn't really matter, but it is so overlooked as a material, um, sadly, um, that that was newsworthy. It's very, very, um, forgiving, I would say, as a material. Um, it's just a couple bucks for a few couple of sticks. Um, you very often will use it on some kind of a toned paper. I've got a Canson My Tins, Mu Tins piece of stock here. I'm just going to play around a little bit so that you can see how this behaves and how forgiving it is. They are very inexpensive. They are not messy. They're easy to use. They're easy to blend. They're super powerful. And generally what you will see these pieces used for would be for like figure study, like this example here. But there is a lot of other other stuff that, um, you know, Conti can be used for, you know, in terms of like figure drawing and life drawing. But the examples I have here, because generally what you find mostly is that there is um, a lot of people who are using Conti for um, portraiture and stuff because that's kind of how you get used to using Conti. It doesn't mean it's the only way, but it's a very, very easy kind of way to get your, your thoughts, the gesture line, you know, on there where you want it to go and is a super, super forgiving, you know, material. So, just check it out. A lot of times you're going to be using like uh, a color like this um, in coordination with like a white to like pick up highlights and stuff like that. Um, it, like I said, it's very easy to blend. You can use a blender, but you got 10 right here. So those are really um, <laughs> the most convenient generally. Um, but take a look at some really sensitive, beautiful, exquisitely done work with just Conti and get um, you know, don't be afraid. Try some if you haven't already and make sure that you have them in your um, art arsenal of cool art stuff. Get some Conti and we're sure you will enjoy. Mm -hmm.